Somebody's give me somebody's give me love. Somebody's give me bye 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 bye. Shout out to my bag family in Gambia. Um, yeah, y'all doing great things. And uh, I'm so proud of y'all. I'm just so proud. Anyway, I wanted to state something that I'm sure is not going to make us um, the happiest. But he who have ears, let him hear. And I believe this message that I have today is for a whole human family, but more specifically, um, my black family. Okay? My colors, African Americans, whatever they call us these days. Um, you know, it's real important that when we look at ourselves on a global scale, not to get too discouraged, not to uh, dig ourselves in a hole any deeper because we already feel bad enough about how far down the totem pole we are in this game called life. But then you have to also remember, and I don't want you to never lose sight of, because this is the key. A lot of people want you to leave, lose sight of the fact that you have uh, suffered an abuse that is a pain body from generation after generation. You have been what we say in mental health is a scapegoat child. And anybody know that, that knows about narcissism and how the family operates like on a mobile you touch one, and of course the whole mobile shakes, but we realize that we all have authentic places in our sick family, right? We have a golden child, you know, and you have a scapegoat, and so on and so forth. The clown, which ends up being our comedians more than likely because he's, he's using laughter and jokes to mask his abuse in the family. Um... But what you need to understand is as us being trained for hundreds of years to see yourself as less than, okay, and other people constantly feeding you that diet, even though innately in your heart you know it's not the truth because you watch them steal your, I mean our ancestors that is, watch them steal their inventions, watch them uh do all kinds of trick knowledge to rule over them. And then you fast forward to where we stand today as a society. It has made the behavior of not trusting us and not trusting one another just an enormous feat. Okay, because then you couple that with um, all the families that were affected by this type of abuse and why we, because we live on the edge um, from white supremacy, we live on the edge of anxiety, we live on the edge of uh, struggle, a lot of us. And so what happens is that same body that has been created for generation after generation after generation becomes painful, okay? So you might be looking at the world, and actually you are. You're not looking at it through rose-colored glasses. Um, actually, if I can give an analogy, y'all know how I do. It's like you got this big elephant sitting here, okay? And you got five people in front of the elephant, and you got five people in the rear of the elephant. And they haven't been able to move and adjust their positions. They have to just stand there and allow uh, their visual to transform them in whatever way. Well, the people at the front 
of the elephant is going to feed them peanuts and they're going to see them taking them with his trunk and they're going to give them marshmallows and they're going to see his beautiful nature and how he's grateful to take the marshmallow or the peanut and stick it in his mouth and eat it and give you some kind of pleasure. <laughs> Let's do it again, Sally. <laughs> but then you have these people that's at the rear. And all they see is the tail going back and forth and crap coming out of the elephants behind. That's all they see. 24-7, 24-7. The smell, the stench, the, um, uh, you know, just the sheer being stuck in it. And if this is their visual for 24 hours a day, of, of course, of course they're going to have a different perception than the people sitting in the front. Right? But I will tell you this. If they both could be able to trade places for one day, one day, a full 24 hours, it would change both of their perspectives, almost like trading places. Because, see, you, you can have two people, two groups, looking at the same situation and seeing it so different. So different. So then it becomes apparent that you both are working off of two different stimulus. Am I right? You working off two different stimulus. Y'all looking at the same thing, but the perceptions are jaded because you stuck in the front and I'm stuck in the back. Our whole reality about life is going to be different. It's going to be jaded because we don't never. If we're in the front, we don't never make it to the side, and if we're in the back, we don't never make it to the side or the front. So we stay bogged down in the crap. Now, this was not by accident. This was all by design. And once you really come to grips that we are a conquered people who have been trained not to trust one another, who have been trained to hate on one another. It's like that, remember that scene in Django where they were just fighting each other and ah, and you sat there and you watched the little black waitress walk around with her little, and she was better than them. Remember how she looked at uh, Jamie Foxx like, don't say nothing to me because see, huh, I'm a better Negro than you. And for all our existence, we've had to deal with this type of energy. So what happens is, since the two aren't willing to trade places, they'll never be able to see what the other one sees. And they'll never be able to feel, understand, unless they really have a pure heart, a pure spirit. And we don't have too many pure spirits here. We we got we've had we've had them throughout history. But a lot of them are afraid to make themselves known now because you know, so much hatred on the planet. So the pure spirits don't want to stand up and be counted. Which I think is a travesty. Because if we are light bodies like we say, then we have to come out. And let our light so shine. You know. So I you know, I look at this and I'm gonna wrap it up when I go here. When I look at uh, they, they say Kanye is rap, uh, ranting again, you know, about they made him sacrifice his mother. They did this. They, 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 they. Um I guess the people that are in his ear, 
he doesn't have, I don't know, obviously he doesn't have any grassroots people in his circle. Because what is happening now is Kanye is having a severe meltdown and um, it doesn't seem like there's anybody there to walk him through this. And I'm not trying to say it because I feel sorry for him. I'm saying it because it is what it is. And this is what seems, he, he can't even deal with the, the uh, death and what really happened to his mother. Because now, like he said, I don't know who they, they killed his sacrifice. Who's they? I thought it goes like you make the sacrifice. You, you sacrificed it. You, you knew what the game was when you kissed the ring. You knew somebody was going to get got. Maybe, you know, you didn't know how it was going to happen. So I'm, I'm not understanding. But what I do know, and I'm going to stick to what I know, is they got us so confused and so full of hatred for one another. Y'all saw it when you saw all those um, heroes, sports heroes, come out against Kyrie the way they did. It goes to show you, you know, we've been trained. We've been trained. A lot of people don't want to hear that. But we have a pain body, and until we acknowledge that, everything around us is full of pain. Even in our families, the dysfunction. Look at what Scrappy said the other day. Somebody sent me a clip when that man so hurt and so bad. He got so much pain in him. And that's what usually happens when you get in your 40s and stuff. That stuff start actually psychologically that uh, messing with you. Because especially when you get a chance to see another life. And you want to know why you don't fit in. Because you got all this mental baggage. Right? And you already know if white people got a cold, then black people got AIDS. Okay, that's how our differences and our pains are. Y'all got a cold, we got AIDS, full blown. So I'm saying this to say we have to do a better job of understanding our pain, a better job of um, understanding that we are who we are because in this country we've been made, we've been subjected to an enslavement over here. And nobody wants to apologize. Nobody wants to make amends. Nobody, they want us to act like it never happened while we sit here and listen about another type of uh, Holocaust that happens. You know, and I really can't get with it. You know, because what happens is you want me to deny myself and acknowledge you. And that's just not how any of this works. I mean, for real, for real. It's This is not how any of it works. So you got the wrong one. For a lot of us, we ain't, you know, we're not with that. But I really want us to examine our the hurt and the pain. We already know we got a generation. Now we got to start looking at how we have it in our families, in our homes, in the decisions we make with relationships. The people we have kids by, all of that type of shit, all of that. Are we breeding more dysfunction? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Okay? I'm out.